So you got one of our powerful upgrade kits, definitely one of the biggest fun factor upgrades for the Saran and Segway. And now you want to be able to swap between different voltage batteries. Well, today we're going to cover that, how to do it quickly, right after the intro. Every Green Line Engineering customer fills out an intake form with their bike specifications the moment they are about to receive their controller and we prepare custom tunes for that particular bike and that particular setup. Those custom tunes are for a 72 volt profile, 60 volt profile and a 60 volt battery bypass profile. Regardless of whether they have the battery or not, they'll have the ability to hot swap in the future when they do uh, get a 72 volt battery. There are two ways to do a battery hot swap um, with the CYC app and the Greenline Engineering Dashboard app. The Greenline Engineering Dashboard app will be ready in July. Right now we're going to show you how to do it with this particular app. It's available both in, it's available both in Android and iOS. Once it's open, choose the Bluetooth icon. This is the bike. Select it and hit connect. Now it's connected. As you can see, you see the Bluetooth icon. It's been reddened out, which means you have a secure connection. Go to general, and this is where you're going to load your parameters. Under load from local files, I don't know if you can see that. And here are your custom parameter files that are tuned specifically to your controller. Do not attempt to uh, install parameter files into a controller that's not from Greenline Engineering. You're going to end up breaking your phone. I mean, breaking your uh, controller for a couple of reasons. We'll show you why. So you have the option of a 60 volt bypass, which allows you to draw more batter, uh, more current from your battery. You have your 60 volt stock parameter and your 72 volt. So let's say you've got your 72 volt battery in the mail. You put it in the bike, pick that one. And as you can see, it says warning, do not interrupt after clicking, click OK. And it starts loading that parameter into your uh, bike. As you can see, it doesn't take very long. It's done, power off your bike. Once you've uh, powered your bike back up, connect your egg rider display refresh connects go to your settings and then go to display settings and this is where you have different battery profiles for example on my first battery profile first you need to hit read first before anything on my first battery profile I have my 60 volts and on my second battery profile I have the uh, 70 volts and you can see that and so I am going to choose if I have the 72 volt battery installed on my bike, hold a second, hit done, hit right. And there you have it folks, that's it. As you can see, you've got your second battery there. I'm still using the 60 volt, but in theory, if I had a 72 volt, it'd be there, but um, everything checks out and uh, you're now running a 72 volt. That, looked, that took less than two minutes. If you have any questions, oh, before I finish, um, the reason you cannot use our parameters is on uh, other controllers is because of this. We completely uh, rewire our looms and uh, program our controllers to sit really high, as you can see, almost touching the horn. And the reason we do that is actually not for aesthetics, even though it obviously looks better, is for safety reasons. Um, by doing it this way, uh, we're coming from an electrical engineering and mechanical standpoint, you're not crisscrossing the phase wires. Phase wires get hot over time, and uh, if you have big gaps and you have a harness crossing a phase wire and you have water, dirt, and debris all accumulating in there because your controller is sitting so far out, there's a high likelihood of a short. So uh, we completely fix that. Uh, as you can see, it sits much, much higher up, up, up 
up on the bike and there's no crisscrossing of wires from the harness or the phase wires. Like we said, if you have additional questions, feel free to shoot them to uh, support at glengineering.co. That's support at glengineering.co. Thank you.